Hello and welcome to the PFSense 2.3 feature video for monitoring RRD graphs. PFSense continually monitors many aspects of itself and maintains the data in RRD files which are used for graphing. In previous versions, these were found under the status menu at RRD graphs, but now they have moved on to monitoring under the status menu. The graph interface was completely redesigned for browser-based rendering using D3. This gives the graphs a more modern look and interactive capabilities. Moving the mouse along the graph yields a tooltip with specific data values at that point in time. Any of the data sources on the graph may be selectively enabled or disabled. For example, on the processes graph, the process count can obscure detail in the CPU usage if the CPU usage is low. Disabling the process count by clicking it allows you to see the finer detail along the lower values of the graph. The data summary section of the page shows a calculated analysis of the data on the graph with minimum, average, maximum, and last values for the period. Some data sources, such as packet and traffic rates, also have a 95th percentile calculation. In previous versions, multiple graphs were shown on one screen with varying time periods, and there were tabs across the top to change areas. On PFSense 2.3, only a single graph is shown, but it can display values on both the left and right axes for better direct comparisons. To change the graph, click the wrench icon on the breadcrumb bar to display the settings panel. Here there are choices for the graph to show on each axis, as well as options to control the time span of the graph and its display type. For example, to compare the CPU usage, which we have selected here in the left axis, with WAN traffic, we'll select that in the right axis. And when we're finished, click Update Graphs. As you can see, the values for both CPU usage and WAN traffic are displayed on the same graph, along with their respective data sources. The data summary area also contains values for both axes. Additionally, by clicking Display Advanced, buttons are shown that will allow you to export the data for this graph as a CSV file, to save this graph as the default when you visit the page, to disable all graphing, or to reset the graphing data files. By default, the settings panel is collapsed, so the graph gets the main part portion of the view. Uh, however, the settings panel can be set to be expanded at all times by going to System, General Setup, in the Web Configurator section of the page, select Monitoring Settings with a check mark, and then click Save. From then on, when you return to the RRD graphs, the settings panel will be expanded on the first view. And that's everything you need to know about the new RRD graphs. Thank you for watching.